Good morning. All right, everybody, stand on up. We're going to do our pledge this morning. All right? Tension, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and for the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, well, we learned a lot yesterday, so um, we're going to have to review what we learned. I, I, I reviewed that I, I needed to go find my camouflage toilet paper, and there it is right there. Um, but when we're talking about what we learned yesterday, you know what? Um, we are going to review a little bit more about this. Now, do you, you, do you know what we learned? Do you know what? Well, it's hard to hear you. I'm going to need some help from my general, I mean, my uh, doctor, Dr. Know What. Dr. Know What. Hello? Yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, cadets. How you doing? Good to see you this morning. Hey, general. Did you right. call me? Did yeah. you summon me? We are reviewing what we learned yesterday, and they're all shouting out, and I can't hear them. Okay, okay. So I need a little bit of help here. Can you go get, grab that microphone real quick? Yes, I can. Yes. Boop, all right. Boop, 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 boop. Whoop. Boop, 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 boop. All there right. There you go. No, you don't, no, don't bring me the microphone. Oh, you, you want me to, to bring it to them? You need to tell, you know, I need to ask them a question about, oh, come okay. on, doctor, okay. know what? Okay. Come on. Oh, I, All right, go. I didn't have my coffee All right, this what morning. did we learn? What did we learn yesterday? Oh, boy, so many eager hands. Let's, uh, you, what did, what did you learn yesterday? The belt of truth. Belt of the truth. Belt of, belt yes, of truth. This thing right, right here, on. we got the belt of truth back right now. Yeah, All right. Yeah, belt of truth. What, right what else did we learn? Okay, oh, we got, we got one right here standing up. All right, what did we learn yesterday? That the belt of truth holds the armor together. Mm, yes, well said, well said, yes, belt yes. Belt truth holds the armor together, that's very good. All, all right, right, one, one more, more, one more, one more. All right, all right. You, what did we learn? Well, the belt of truth, well, I forgot. That's okay. You know what? We all forget sometimes. Yes. I forgot too. Okay. That's okay. So many great answers. One more. The belt of truth holds the pants up. Pants up. There we go. Belt of truth holds the pants right. up. I mean, I have a belt that holds my pants up, so what are you going to do? All right. Okay. It reminds us of Jesus who holds all things together, right? And there was something else. There's something yes. else. Something else. Oh, there's something else. Is, is there? You, you know, you, you know what? You know what? What? I'm not talking to you. Oh, you're not talking no, to me. No, I'm actually asking. Oh, you know what? You what? know what? No. I think I, I think I'm I not know what. You're know what. Yes, I'm know what. I'm know yeah. how. I think I, what I learned yesterday. Y'all you, want to know what I learned? Yeah. yeah. So if I remember correctly, why do you have a potato? Yeah, this is, well, this is actually a rock. If you oh. remember, right, we're supposed to live our lives upon a rock or something like that. I, I think that's what I learned. And a rock's so, right here. See, a rock is oh, right here. On a map? Next to Iran. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, oh, I'm, no, you're talking about, no, oh, 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 I'm talking about this rock. And Never so mind. anyway, I guess we're supposed to live our lives upon a rock or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know if this is a, a, a metamorphic rock or a sedimentary rock. I, I don't know what it is, but does that make any sense at all? We are supposed to live our lives on the truth of God. Okay, okay. And we are supposed to build our lives on the... That's what we learned yesterday. Yes, okay. I, build our lives on the truth so we can stand... Stand. Stand firm. firm right there. That's right. Stand okay. firm. You well, know, it's that time travel messes with my brain, and sometimes yeah. I just can't... Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. We got some kind of... Trans, we got another transmission... Oh. It's okay. from Baroness von Steinkel. <gasps> Baroness von Steinkel. Where is she? Steinkel. Where is she? Oh. <laughs> Hello there, General Know Nothing and Doctor Know It All. I made this mission a little harder for you this time around. I know your little time machine only has enough fuel for five trips, and you've already used one. So now you have a tough decision. I'm about to give you a clue about where I've hidden the breastplate of righteousness. 
but here's your dilemma of the day. When I was in your secret training facility, I also stole Dr. Know-It-All's very valuable comic book collection and general know nothing. I stole your favorite bullhorn given to you by your granddaddy, who's a drill sergeant. I'll tell you where I've hidden them too. They are in Philadelphia, July 4th, 1776, at the birthplace of our nation. Now you have to decide, do you go after the breastplate of righteousness or do you waste a trip and go get your precious belongings? You decide! I would urge you to forget the breastplate and go get your stuff back before your precious memories turn to dust. But should you choose the breastplate of righteousness, here's your clue. The breastplate protects your heart, but when your heart's not well, you might go here to have a checkup or have it worked on, but I won't tell. There are many throughout the century, so guessing is quite hard. So I'll just say this is a Christian one and where they got their start. Bad luck to you both! <laughs> Baroness! Out. Oh my word! She stole my bullhorn! Who cares about the bullhorn? I, they stole all of my rock magazines, all my comic books, everything's gone! Get over yourself. No one cares about comics. It's all about the bullhorn. All right. This is a tough decision. This is so hard. I've never had this tough a decision in my life, General. What are we going to do? All right. So we either have to go back to 1776, uh -huh. yeah. which will kind of be fun. I mean, I guess, I'm yeah. a very patriotic guy. Or okay. we're going to have to go after the breastplate of righteousness. <sighs> this is a tough one, cadets. Should we, should we get a vote? Yeah. What do y'all think we should do? All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. We're going to take a vote. That seems fair. So I'm going to say one thing, and you vote by, you know, yelling and screaming for that. And then we're going to go the other thing, you vote by yelling or screaming for that, all right? So who thinks we should go after my bullhorn in the comics? Vote now. All right. That's not very many. I'm a little scared now. Who thinks we should go after the breastplate of righteousness? That seems like a clear uh, one-sided thing right there. What do you think? Well, well, doctor, it's not worth our stuff to not have the armor of God. We've got to go after the armor of God. I guess. All right. Well, let's do it then. Well, we don't know where we're going. We've okay. got to solve the clue here. Okay. okay so uh, we got to go somewhere where you get your heart checked. And you know, I think I know the answer to that. Okay. What is it? You go to the mechanic. Mechanic. Okay. Mechanic. If I... Now... I think a mechanic, aren't they supposed to fix cars and Teslas? Oh, oh, oh and wait, all wait, wait, wait. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. okay. Right. The grocery store. Grocery store. Aldi? I no, love no, no. Aldi. Love Aldi. Heart, hearts of Romaine. Hearts of Romaine. Oh, Romaine, yeah. I'm more of a uh, carrot guy, but well, I don't... Where do, they, where do they think we should go? Okay, go well, ask let's ask. Go, go ask them. Go ask all them. All right. Let me, let me get your input. This is very important. Where do we go to get our heart checked? Ooh, I heard something interesting over there. The hospital. The hospital. The hospital. That might be it. That might be it. Now, 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 what's where they? Now, what hospital you think? What hospital? Well, let's ask them. What hospital do we need to go to to get our heart fixed? Emory. Emory's a good one. A local good hospital, but it may not be as local. What do you think? Um. Hmm. Piedmont, maybe. Piedmont. That's also Piedmont. local. Let's ask another one. Piedmont. Children's Hospital. Children's Hospital. Could be. I think that's close. Come on back all up right, here. I think right. we can Great figure answers. this out. Great answer. All right. Where are we going? I know. I, I know. know where we're I going. think I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Part of me remembers my training back when we were cadets that hospitals really got their start uh -huh. with Christians. Interesting. So maybe we need to target... The first Christian hospital. Interesting. Okay. Maybe. All right. Do you want me to go into the control center? All right. Let's All right. do it. All right. Let's go. We're going to go back there. Y'all right. hang tight, okay? We're going to we'll get this figured out. All right. Let's do this. What a 
strange place. Shh. My diagnosis is that your heart is divided. It still wants to do selfish things. By prescription, you need a new heart. Have the secretary call that into the pharmacy for you. Okay. No what? What? No, I'm talking to you, not asking you a question. Oh, uh, sorry again. Where am I? Well, according to my research, you've arrived in Caesarea in the year 369 AD. That guy is St. Basil of Caesarea. He was the first Christian to start a hospital. First Christian? You mean there are a lot of Christian hospitals? Yep. More than we can count. One of the most notable was founded by a Swiss Christian businessman. It was a ministry to take care of the wounded during the war. It became known as the Red Cross. Why would they do that? Did they make a lot of money? Uh, no, uh, back then there wasn't a lot of money to be made. Christians risked the dangers of war and of getting sick to take care of those in war zones and in the middle of plagues. Let's see how far this goes back. Computer, what information do you have? Jesus showed his people that he wasn't afraid to heal those people considered unclean. Christians caring for the sick goes all the way back to how Jesus cared for those lepers who were outcasts. Luke 5, 12 and 13 says, While he was in one of the cities, there came a man full of leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and begged him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. God's people have been called to care for the sick like Jesus cared for the sick. But... Wouldn't they be afraid of catching leprosy? Why would they choose to risk their lives? Jesus said later in Luke 5, 31, those who are well have no need for a physician, but those who are sick. He was speaking to a group of Pharisees who didn't realize they were sick. They didn't realize that their hearts were sick and they needed Jesus to heal their heart sickness most of all. Hold on, computer. It also says here in Matthew 5, 20, that Jesus said, For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Analyzing. It appears that the Pharisees thought they were really good people, but their hearts were unclean. But they really tried to live up to the law of God. They went out of their way to make sure that they didn't break the law. But if the Pharisees went out of their way to live up the law of God, and they couldn't do it, then who could? It's impossible. That's exactly right. I I've been doing some research here. He says something here in his letter to the Romans. Don't remind me of Rome. I just got the smoky smell out of my uniform. Here it is. Romans 3, 23. For all have sinned, and fall short of the glory of God. We, we don't measure up. I always measure up. You get that Mary Poppins measuring tape out and it'll tell you that I'm practically perfect in every way. Hmm? Uh-oh. Well, it, it tells us in the Bible that God measures our hearts and they don't measure up. No one is righteous. Then what is the point of the breastplate of righteousness? I mean, I sacrificed my granddaddy's bullhorn for a breastplate of righteousness, and no one is righteous. Negatory, General. Jesus is righteous. He lived a perfectly righteous life. He sacrificed his whole life so that humans who trust in him can have his righteousness. He makes people at one with God. S so when we approach God, does that mean Jesus' righteousness is our breastplate? Affirmative. God can't tolerate sin. To be in his presence, we must be righteous. Jesus makes us righteous. It's like when I'm wearing green camouflage. When I don't want people to see me, I make myself look like the tall grass so I can't be seen. When I'm wearing the breastplate of righteousness, God sees Jesus' righteousness instead of my sin. But there's more to it. Not only is Jesus our perfect righteousness, his Holy Spirit gives us a new heart. 
so that more and more we will do the right thing. We aren't perfect like God, but he is making our heart look more like Jesus' heart. I think I remember this from field training. Ezekiel 36, 26. And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. That is what Dr. St. Basil must have meant. Yes, indeed. And since you've solved my medical mystery, perhaps you can make use of this. The breastplate! So, God not only covers our hearts so we can approach Him, He also gives us a heart to love Him and love others. That's why there's so many hospitals started by Christians. It shows the work of God in our hearts. There's a verse engraved here on the breastplate of righteousness. John 14, 15. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. We aren't perfectly righteous like Jesus, but the Holy Spirit helps us more and more to love and obey God. His breastplate of righteousness guards our hearts. I can't believe you chose to go find the breastplate over the things that you love. Mm, I must make this harder. That's two of the five pieces of the special armor that you've recovered. Tomorrow, you'll be sunk for sure. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Let's head on home. Farewell, stranger. All right, we got it. Woo! We got the breastplate. Yeah, we did. Wow. Woo! Man. Wear, you want to wear it? Oh, yeah. I'd love to wear it. Can I? We're, we're going to put it on our, oh, our yeah. friend over here. On, the, on, on the mannequin type yeah, of thing, we'll, yeah. We'll put it on him in a second. Okay. Uh, well, right. I'll tell you what. We learned a lot there, didn't we? Oh, we did. A lot, a lot of things. So a lot we, of things. We learned something very important about measuring up. Oh, yeah. And my heart doesn't measure up, mm. Mr. St. Basil told me. Yes. I tend to agree with him. Yep. yep. But I think we need some cadets to do a training exercise. Yes, Don't that would you? be perfect. I'll okay, tell you what. let's see. I Here's think we have thing. some names here. We've got some special names yes. of some star cadets right here. Y'all come on up. All Can right. You go first? You go first. All right. Thank you, General. Very kind. All right. First up. We got Maurice Quaint. Come on up, Maurice. Come Maurice on up. Quant. Yes, sir. There you are. Thank you, sir, for coming up. And then All we right. got, uh, you want to go next? Parker Engel. Parker Engel. Come on yeah, down. Yeah, Parker. All right. Next, we got Sarah Phillips. Sarah, Sarah Phillips. Phillips. Come on down. All right. Or up, uh, as the case may be. Mm. Last but not least. Last but not least, drum roll, y'all. Drum roll. All right. Last. That's not a drum. That's I know. my hat. Sorry. I, know right. I have a headache from time traveling. Sorry. Last name is Finley Maxwell. Finley Maxwell. Yeah. Come on down. Come Finley, on are down. you here? Are you here, Finley? All right. All right. All, All right. right. What are we going to do? All right. I tell you what. Y'all go over there with Dr. Know What. Dr. Know What. Here's yes. the measuring tape. Okay, yes. I've All seen right. this before. Now, here's a sign that says, can any of y'all read that? It says, glory of God. Yes, it does. Glory, glory of, God. of God. Now, here's what you're going to do. All right? Y'all kind of clear out a little bit because you're going to go one at a time. And you're going to take one jump. One jump from where you are. You can't take a step and a jump. You got to just jump and try to get here, all right? We'll see how far you can get. All right. All right, so start right there where Dr. Know What is. Right here. You can come on up, Finley, or you can come up, Parker. All right, Go Parker, ahead. I want you to give us one big, gigantic jump, see how far you can get. Are you ready? Go. Ooh, all right. That was pretty good. Let's see how far you Very went. Very good. All right, let's see. Uh, did it eh, get, did it's it get here? It's pretty good, but not, not quite all the way over there. All no, right, all right, right, all right. Good try, buddy. All right. Let's see. Let's see All who's right, next. Finley. Finley. Ooh, that was a good that jump. That was good. That was really good. Now let's see. Well, just like Parker, it, it looks like just a tad bit short. Just a tad bit. All right. All next. right, Maurice, you need to back up just a tad because 
You need to, you need to hit from the, the adult tees. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, All boy. right. Good that job. That was good. Now, that was probably the longest one. But as we can see, not quite there. All right. Okay. Sarah, I want you to come on up here and give it a try. Okay. Come on up to that black tape right there. That's the ladies' tease. Ooh, Ooh, that was look good. At that. that was pretty good jump. But what do y'all think? Not quite there. Maurice, I want you to come over here and hold this. I'm going to give it a try. General, you haven't jumped this far since basic training. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a. You have I'm an ibuprofen you need to take? World class or? jumper and, and. All right. I believe in you. I know you can do it. All right. All right, let's cheer them on, guys. General, 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 general. Woo! Oh, goodness. General, you okay? I'm all right. He's all right. He'll be all right. I don't think I got there, though. Uh, I, don't even, I don't even think I should I get the measuring tape there. out. Didn't quite All right, thank y'all. Y'all can go sit down. Give them a round of applause. All right. Have a seat. Yes, great job. All right, so here's the thing. Are you okay? I'm all right. Okay, I'll okay. be all right. Just want to check might, in with you. I might need to go back and see uh, Dr. St. Basil over the, after this is all over with. Yeah, so he might yeah. need to adjust my back. Okay. Yep, okay. Now, here's the thing. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yes. The only person that can make that jump is Jesus. Yes. I'm not Jesus. Y'all aren't Jesus. He's the only one who can glorify God mm. perfectly. Yes. But here's the thing. He puts his spirit within us and more and more we're able to do that which pleases him. Yes. We still have that divided heart. And that's exactly what the doctor told me. I needed a new heart. I really wanted to go after my great granddaddy or my granddaddy's bullhorn. You're not alone. I wanted those comic books real bad. Y'all helped us do the right thing and go after the breastplate of righteousness. But yep. our heart wants what it wants because we've got a selfish heart. But Jesus puts in us a new heart, mm. one that helps us want the things that God wants. Yes. But, you know, there's some people who don't recognize that their heart's like that. Yeah. Well, we just learned about the, the Pharisees and the scribes. You know, you know what? I think we may have a story about that in the Bible. I'm going to get my trusty computer out. All right. Okay. Well, bring it on up on All your computer. Right. We'll watch it. Boo. All right. So it looks like we got a story about this very thing in Luke 18, 9 through 14. All right. Should we go ahead and uh, load it up? Well, let's load it up. Jesus All right. See into the hearts of people. He knew that there were people in the crowd who thought that they were something really special. They trusted in themselves that they were righteous without God and looked down on others. They walked around with their noses in the air, thinking that they had earned their place with God. So Jesus told a story to bring them to their knees. He told them about two men. One was a Pharisee with his nose in the air, and the other was a tax collector. Now, people looked down on tax collectors because they helped the Romans take more taxes than they should from people. They were scoundrels and they knew it. The Pharisees thought that they were better than everyone else because they added to the law. The tax collectors added more taxes, and the Pharisees added to the law. Both were wrong, but only one knew he was. They both went to the temple one day to pray. The Pharisees started things out, raising his voice really loud, speaking like someone who's always bragging. He said to God, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. He probably patted himself on the back after his prayer. He stood close to the holy place thinking that what he did in his power and his strength made him righteous. Then it was the tax collector's turn to pray. The tax collector stood far off. He wouldn't even look up to God. Instead, he beat his chest because he knew he was a sinner. And he prayed, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. All the eyes watching that day and all the ears listening that day probably thought, God heard the Pharisee. 
but didn't hear the tax collector. But Jesus told us what God really thought. Jesus said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Jesus' point was clear. It's God's mercy and grace that saves us. It is Jesus' righteousness that makes us right. Our right doesn't save us. Our salvation makes us have a heart that wants to do right. Not to earn God's favor, not to earn our way into his presence, but to say thank you for what he has already done for us. To thank him for Jesus making us at one with the Father. You've got to know that you don't measure up. I didn't know I didn't measure up before we started this. Now I know. And as my good friend Joseph likes to say, he's a GI. Okay, okay. Some people call him GI Joe. GI Joe. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. I think I know him, yeah. He says, now you know, Mm. and knowing is half the battle. Mm. So you've got to know that you're sick in order to go to the doctor. Yeah. It's like when someone's like, I'm not sick. I, I, I don't need to go to the doctor. Yeah. And you know they're sick, and they're not going to get well unless they go see the doctor. Are you making fun? I kind of sound like that. I'm not sick, by the way. This no, is just my normal you voice. You just got that nasal thing going That little on. nasal thing, it's, yeah. It's I put that, on nasal strips last yeah. week. Hopefully I get better. But you've got to know that your heart is desperately sick mm. so that you will turn to Jesus. Now let's pray according to that, and then we'll be dismissed. Heavenly Father, help us see what our hearts are truly like. Help us realize that our hearts are, are, are sinful, that we need a new heart, that we need Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit to come into our hearts and help us to do that which pleases you more and more. Help us turn from our trying to do good to your spirit who does good in and through us. Lord, help us to realize that we need a doctor and that we need a new heart. Lord, help us, we pray, as we learn more and more about you this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Now, team leaders, if y'all go ahead and and, and, and cadets, if you'll follow your team leaders to your next activity. We'll see you tomorrow. Great day.